What's playing in your mind? What are you giving access to? Paul said in Philippians, think on things that are positive, things that are wholesome, things that are of a good report. You can't think negative and have a positive life. You can't think sickness and get well. You can't think lack and have abundance. The battle is taking place in our mind. Be selective of what you allow in. Imagine someone showed up at your house, knocked on your front door. You opened it, and there was this stranger. He was carrying an ax, a hammer, a rifle, a bag of poison, all these harmful, dangerous things. You wouldn't say, hey, come on in. Make yourself at home. Good to see you. Got some food in the fridge. You wouldn't think twice. You would tell him, you are not welcome here. You need to get off my property. You would shut the door, deadbolt it, make sure that he left. Well, your mind is your house. It's where you live. There's nothing more valuable, more important, more sacred. Why are you letting destructive thoughts in? Why are you letting fear roam around? Why are you letting worry have free reign? Why are you allowing doubt? You can't do it. It's never going to work out to have a seat on your couch. That's your property. You have complete control over what you let in. No, you can't stop it from coming. It may knock on the door, but you don't have to give it access. Next time fear knocks, you'll never get well. You saw the report. This sickness is the end. Why don't you say, no, thanks. You're not welcome here. I will live and not die. God is restoring health back unto me. When fear knocks, let faith answer. Next time doubt shows up, man, it's too big. It's never going to work out. You don't have the connections. Just say, sorry, doubt. You have the wrong address. There's no place for you here. When insecurity comes knocking, you're not good enough. You're not attractive. You don't have a good personality. Nobody wants to be around you. Don't you dare let those thoughts in. Your attitude should be, get off my property. You're not welcome here. I know who I am. I'm a masterpiece. I'm one of a kind. I'm made in the image of God. I'm crowned with favor. I'm wearing a robe of righteousness. I have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Start closing the door to the negative. Close the door to these destructive, limiting, defeating thoughts. But sometimes we believe them so long, they become a part of who we are. We didn't know any better. It's how we were raised. And we opened the door, and now it's like they've taken up residence. They have their own room. Imagine fear, worry, doubt, insecurity living in your house, dragging you down, stealing your joy, taking your peace. That may be the way it's been, but this is going to be a new day. It's time to do some house cleaning. You need to evict some tenants that have been living in your mind.